22. Determine whether or not the following pairs of curves intersect. Now, I'm actually going to choose the first uh, question, part A. And in, um, in that case, if they do intersect, find the angle between the two curves at each point of intersection. Now, what do we mean by the angle of intersection? Well, the angle of intersection is determined by the angle between the tangent vectors. Okay, so you've got two curves intersecting. At that point, they'll each have a tangent vector, as long as they're smooth. We define the angle between the two curves at the point of intersection as the angle between the tangent vectors. So let's go through and calculate that and um, see how we go. Now, one mistake that people make with these kind of problems is they set the components equal and don't change the they, they keep the same variables okay now that's fraught with danger so 22 okay. so my first vector function is just going to be this so what's what's this what's the graph associated with this going to be what's the curve going to be a line yep And now I'm going to switch to a second variable, u. Now I guess we're sort of implicitly understanding that you know, it's defined for all t and all u, but really we're only interested in the, the intersection. So our curves intersect. when the components are equal, right? So when t equals u, t equals u squared, t equals u cubed. So from those equations, we've got to come up with or, or find some value of t and u. So what I'm going to do is sort of use these two and um, make a substitution. Okay, so um, uh, I guess I'll eliminate uh, u. So I'll get t equals t cubed, so t cubed minus t equals zero. So I can factorize that, take out a t and then factorize. So on the surface, it looks like I've got three t values. t equals 0, t equals 1, and t equals minus 1. But can anyone suggest why, why isn't, why do I, why, why should I ignore the t equals minus 1 from this? Yeah, it doesn't satisfy this, because, you know, t equals u squared, so t's can't be negative, right? It's something squared. So our t points of interest are t equals 0 and t equals 1. So let's find the point of intersection associated with t equals 0 and t equals 1. Well, let's go up to here. Our points of intersection. All right, so let's go up to here and put in t equals 0. We'll get... 0, 0, 0, t equals 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Did you go to the wrong room? Sorry. We just started, so you're not missing too much. 
So now the next question is, what's the angle between the um, tangent vectors at the points of intersection? Okay, so let's calculate that. So Okay, so let's calculate the tangent vectors and then use the, I guess, the dot product involving the cosine to, to calculate the angle between them. Okay, so let's calculate the um, derivative and the derivative here. So differentiating component-wise manner, we're just going to get a constant vector. And over here, we're going to get 1, 2u, and 3u squared. OK, well, at our point of interest, Um, I guess um, I guess t equals zero corresponds to that point. T equals one corresponds to that point. But what about u? Well, I can go back up to here, and if I want to, I can get the corresponding u value. So when t equals zero, I can determine u is going to be zero from up here, and when t equals one, u is also going to be equal one. So let's work out our angle. So let, let, let's, for this case, let theta 1 be the angle. We know that it's calculated from the, the dot product divided by the product of the lengths or the magnitudes. So this is at R sub 2. OK, so 1, 1, 1 dotted with this at u equals 0. Um, that's gonna, the length of that's going to be root 3. And the length of that's just going to be 1, right? So, if I expand that, I'll get 1 on root 3. So all I've got to do now is take the inverse cos. So the angle of intersection, theta 1, is going to be inverse cos of 1 on root 3. I'm just going to leave it like that. What about the other point of intersection? t equals... One. Okay, so cos theta two is just again the same thing. So it's going to be one, one, one dotted. But this time, when t equals one, u equals one. So I'm going to get a different vector up there. Okay, um, this is going to be root fourteen. Okay, so you work that out, take the inverse cos. Sort of running out of room here. 